Hi, I'm Mrs. Schiffer and I want to share with you the supplies that we require you keep in your binder at all times. Starting out, you need a three ring, three inch binder. You need a pencil pouch with a pencil, a pen, and an eraser. You need notebook paper, divider tabs, and of course, your planner. Hey, my name is Juliana. I go to Clyde Creek Middle School and how I usually organize my binder is I go back to front, I put my notebook paper, dividers, page protector, planner, and then my pencil pouch. And so you grab a stack of paper. Since I go front to back, I start that. And you don't have to do it in a big stack. You can go little by little. And I have the dividers for all six of my classes. And my page protector. You can have more if you want, but I only use one. And the planner where I fill out my class schedules. Pencil pouch. everything I need inside of it. I'm Mrs. Greer and I'm one of the sixth grade counselors here. I am very excited to share with you about binders and planners. It is so important to use your binders every single day and your planners so that you're organized, prepared, and successful. And if you do those three things, you will be successful here at Claggett. Hello, my name is Abby. I'm the leadership president at Claggett Creek and I'm going to talk to you about binder organization. Okay. My favorite part of my binder is the dividers because it makes sure that all of my classes are organized so it isn't as stressful to be where's all this paper or where's my homework from this class so I can just make sure that I have everything in place. Hi, my name is Talisa Alejandri. I am the leadership vice president at Claggett Creek Middle School. My favorite section is probably the pencil pouch because you get to put everything you need in there and it's really fast to get everything out. When you're putting your coronal notes in your binder, you want to make sure it's in the rings. And also, if it's ripped, you can put little donut stickers on them so they can stay intact with the binder. Hi, my name is Juliana Falcon. I go to Clyde Creek Middle School. I'm the leadership secretary in Amanese grade. Your binder is important when you start Clyde Creek because it gives you kind of like a step ahead so you know how to organize it, how to keep track. If you have your binder organized, you can keep track of what you need to turn in and what you've already done. Welcome to Claggett Creek. Now organize your binder. One of the most important things about the planner that I think is, is the weekly calendar. It helps me keep track of all of my classes and what we did so that I can remember what we've done for the week. So the shake test isn't as stressful as you would think it is. So you just need to make sure that all your papers that from all your classes aren't just loose in your binder so that if you're like walking down the hall that it just won't fall out. That's the main purpose that I think it is. Every Monday the student will try to pass the shake test. Good job! Can you pass the shake test? Can you pass the shake test? Can you pass the shake test? So, thanks for listening and for paying attention. Today we talked about the elements that go into an organized binder, about staying organized for success, and now you're going to work with your teacher to write a SMART goal.